Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella here from Mipul University on the Dice Tower. Thank you for joining us. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Junior Detective, a game published by Buffalo Games. Let's get to it. In the sleepy little town of Evidenton, there has been a crime, or at least a little bit of schoolyard mischief. But never fear, the Junior Detective Club is on the case. In the game, you'll play as competing junior detectives, heading your way around town, quizzing witnesses, all in the aim of finding which of the town's usual troublemakers committed the act and where they're hiding. The first player to solve the mystery wins the game. To set up, each player chooses a detective piece and starts at Junior Detective HQ. Choose a crime booklet from the 40 that come with the game. And read out the story. In this case, someone has glitter bombed the library and you need to find out who and where they're hiding. Lay out the witness cards according to the numbers in the scenario. Here, for example, with Dotty Drip, you need card number 22. So look through all of Dotty's cards until you find that number and then place that card on the main board over the location showing that witness's picture. When you're done, there'll be eight witness cards on the board. Note that although this is set up for case number one, I'll be showing you random cards and cases through the game so as not to spoil any of the cases. Ignore the right hand side of the booklet, you'll later use this to check the answer to the scenario. Find the four circular hiding tokens. These represent places that the culprit might be hiding on the board. Place one of them into each of these red circles with the black outline, and it doesn't matter which goes where. You'll find these near the four corners of the board. Shuffle the sleuth cards and place them near the board. Give each player a pen or pencil, a page from the junior detective notepad, and make sure they can see at least one of the suspect boards, showing the 12 suspects. Keep the other spy equipment nearby for now, the magnifying glass, solve card, and mirror. Each player rolls the die to see who goes first, and you're now ready to play. Junior Detective is played in turns, starting from the first player and going clockwise around the table until somebody solves the crime. To solve the crime, you need to work out which of the 12 suspects committed the crime and which of the four hiding tokens that criminal is hiding in. To find this out, you need to talk to the game's witnesses. On your turn, you must roll the die and then move that many spaces around the board. Each red circle and each location containing one of the witnesses counts as one space of movement. When moving along red spaces, you must move the full distance that you've rolled. You can change direction at a crossroads, but you can never backtrack within the same turn. For example, on a roll of three, green could not go one, two, three. If you reach a location with the witness, you may optionally stop and question that witness, or you may move through the witness's space. You cannot move into or through a hiding token, so if you have excess movement, then you must stop on the adjacent space. Once you've finished moving, resolve the action on your destination. If you land on a fingerprint, you must draw the top card from the sleuth deck and resolve it. Some of these cards allow you to move the hiding tokens around the board, and when you do this, you can move it to any red circle space, but not to a location containing a witness, and never to a red space which would completely block off one of the witness locations from any players on the board. Here, for example, these three hiding tokens block off the spy and the green player, so that movement would not be allowed. If you land on a bicycle, then you can immediately move to any other space or location on the board. And if you land on a location with a witness, then you get to question that witness. And this is the most important action in the game. Take the card from the board, use the appropriate decoder tool to reveal its information, write down what you've learned on your deduction sheet, and return the card face down to the board. There are three different types of witness. These top six are the standard witness. And when you flip their cards, you'll reveal a clue which is masked by red ink. 
To read it, use the Junior Detective red magnifying glass, and this will reveal the clue. These clues all give you information about the visual appearance of the culprit, although not all witnesses can provide information. The clues for Mrs. Wise, the librarian, are written in mirror image, and you'll need to use the mirror to read it. Mrs. Wise's clues tell you if one of the other witnesses is lying. Here, for example, Peppy Roney is lying, and therefore, when Peppy Roney said the culprit wears a hat, actually, the culprit wears no hat. Mrs. Wise will never lie. The spy's clue is a grid of letters, and to activate the card, you'll need to rub it between your palms, activating it with heat. Once you're done, the letters that remain will tell you which of the hiding tokens the culprit is hiding in. Like Mrs. Wise, the spy always tells the truth. Once you've quizzed the witnesses, you'll have enough information to deduce who was the culprit and where they're hiding. Now, to win the game, you need to find the culprit and accuse them. Take note of where they're hiding. Move your detective to a space adjacent to that hiding spot and then announce your accusation to all players. In this case, announcing number 12, Wendy, at the pizza boxes. Now, secretly check your answer in the case booklet by placing the Hold Solve card over the matching note page on the right-hand side of the case book. You'll only be able to see two symbols through the holes, and if you see your number and your hiding place, then reveal it to the other players and you've won the game. If you're wrong, then you lose. You're out of the game because you already know the answer. But make sure you don't show this to the other players so they can keep playing until somebody wins. And that's how to play Junior Detective. If you find this video useful, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to the Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave that in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah.